Welcome to the world of probiotic foods. This is Cultured Food Life with your host, Donna Schwenk. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining me. And we're going to be talking today about um, your gut bacteria and also um, the emotions that you feel and the experiences that you're having. They can be greatly related to what's going on in your gut. You know, our gut bacteria make dopamine, serotonin, and GABA, G-A-B-A, which are all neurotransmitters that help control our moods, our cravings, anxiety, happiness, and hopefulness. And 90% of the body's total serotonin is produced in the digestive tract. And only about 5% of serotonin is produced in the brain. And most people don't think that's, uh, don't even know that that's true. But serotonin, serotonin, serotonin is a neurotransmitter that influences many aspects of your behavior, such as mood, your appetite, your pain sensations, and the right amount of serotonin in the brain produces a peaceful, happy feeling. Now, GABA is responsible, or GABA is responsible for pumping the brakes on nerve impulses whenever we're placed in a taxing situation. A high level of GABA activity indicates a lower chance of overstimulation and a higher chance of feeling calm under pressure and also produces a very restful sleep at night. And just as something new that I want to talk to you about, um, this GABA is a really important neurotransmitter. My daughter um, found that taking it really helped her when she couldn't sleep at night. And I, I found this too. It doesn't make you sleepy. It just relaxes you um, in, a, in a very kind of, um, I don't know, it's not a big way. You just all of a sudden notice that you just feel more calm. You sleep better. You're more tired at night. Um, it's a very powerful amino acid that you can buy and take as a supplement too. Um, that if you're struggling with sleeping or feeling over anxious, it's a really good one to supplement with that can really help calm you down. And um, chances are you're not making enough of it. And if you take it and you notice a difference, then you'll know that you're probably struggling to make this powerful um, neurotransmitter that really is a very calming effect on the body. So it's one of those things I use whenever I get too overstimulated. And um, it does really help me. Now, dopamine gives you a feeling of pleasure and satisfaction. And, you know, you hear about dopamine a lot. Um, when you feel good that you've achieved something, it's because you have a surge of dopamine in the brain. A lot of people who are addicted to substances make dopamine because of those drugs or alcohol, and then they need to produce more of it the next time because their brain is producing an overabundance of it. So your body is already producing these things. It's really your body's like a pharmaceutical factory. And it makes all these chemicals but they don't really get made right if you don't have the right gut bacteria. And researchers have established a really compelling link between gut bacteria and mental health. And they're still trying to figure out to the extent of which parts of the microbiome population um, gets established in early childhood and then can be transformed later on in life. There was a study led by John Cryan. He was a neuroscientist in Ireland. And he dosed anxious mice with the probiotic uh, Lactobacillus raminosis, which showed lower levels of anxiety, decreased stress hormones, and even an increase in brain receptors um, by giving them this special bacteria. And it was vital in curing anxiety, worry, and fear, I guess, and they were less anxious. And I have witnessed so much of this in myself and others, so I know it to be true. When you have the right gut microbes in your gut, you feel dramatically different. You feel calmer, happier. I want to say, um, I don't know that I really experienced the joy and sense of well-being until I really fixed my gut microbes. You know, my, my life feels so dramatically different than it did many, many years ago before cultured foods. And I really, I get excited about every day, but I didn't feel that way before. Um, I was kind of living on the couch in despair and and uh, trying to feel better, but I just felt so bad all the time. And I was really desperate to help my body and help it for my family, for my kids. 
And I really was on a was, was a woman on a mission trying to find hope in any way possible. And I just felt so bad all the time that I didn't really want to do anything. And I really wasn't living. And my life turned around dramatically. I trained myself to find things that would make me feel good physically. I started eating cultured foods. And when I did, I noticed such a shift in how I felt. But not only that, I didn't just feel good. I felt fantastic. Um, I started this website. I started writing books. And I never really felt like that in my 20s or 30s. Um, I wasn't as bad then as I was when I got older. And it was around the age of 41 or 42 when I found cultured foods. And everything changed. My whole outlook on life changed. Um, you don't want to do anything when you don't feel good. You don't want to chase a dream. You just want to get through the day. And then once you start to feel better, your life just, it flips. And you start to realize, oh, I just felt bad. That's that's why I didn't want to do anything all the time. Or I was, you know, everything felt like a huge, you know, journey to get there and too much work. But once I started to feel better, all of a sudden it opened up these special places in me that I had gifts that had been buried by the weight of, you know, not feeling well, not having any energy. And once those things switched in me, I couldn't wait to do stuff. I couldn't wait to help other people because I felt so good. It kind of opens up your heart and all you want to do is help other people feel that way too. And it really was so much. The culture of foods changed me dramatically, but and that wasn't all that did it. I mean, I really focused my mind um, and started to look for answers. And I would tell myself over and over again, I'm not meant to live this way. There's an answer for this. You know, I, it's not that I'm just getting older. I have a lot more life to live. I want to feel good. The answers will come to me. And they did. They came quite dramatically and quite swiftly. And there was a lot of things that I did little by little. I didn't do them all at once um, that started to really change me. And I'm going to tell you about a few of these things um, that made such a huge difference for me. And I'm going to start with kombucha. Kombucha was a great thing. Now, I started with kefir, but I want to tell you about kombucha too, because it has so many B vitamins. It has 25% of the folic acid you need if you don't know what kombucha is, kombucha is a fermented tea that's delicious and tart and bubbly. But it also has 20% uh, of your B12. This is an eight ounces of a kombucha. 20% of B6, 20% of B1, 20% of B3, and 20% of B12. It also has a billion um, probiotic organisms in it. It has Espelardia, which is one of my favorite probiotics, which is a probiotic yeast that has is one of the most researched probiotics and has so many health benefits that I've done many podcasts and articles on it. There were antioxidants, organic compounds, leucoric acid, EGCG, there's 100 milligrams of those, there's 25 milligrams of lactic acid, and there's 30 milligrams of acetic acid, which is all the, you know, billions of probiotics, billions of the building blocks of those trillions of microbes that, are, microbes that are housed within you needs to create B vitamins. And okay, let me explain to you something about B vitamins. You have to have B vitamins, but you have to have good gut flora in order to make those B vitamins and absorb them. And if you don't have enough B vitamins, you're going to feel bad. You're going to feel stressed out. You're going to be living in flight or fight syndrome and you're going to feel really bad. You need B vitamins to keep those adrenals working properly, um, to keep your moods up, to keep all the systems in your body happy, healthy, and functioning properly. And when you're not absorbing B vitamins, and a lot of people, I had a friend one time who's at my house and she went and got tested and she didn't, she wasn't absorbing B vitamins. She was taking them. She was taking massive supplements, but she wasn't absorbing them because she didn't have the right gut flora. Once she started um, adding cultured foods to her diet, she started to make those microbes that allowed her to um, ma manufacture the B vitamins she needed because they're doing that for you. Um, they're doing what you need to be have done in your body. And it's done through the way they break down all of our food um, into vitamins and minerals and enzymes so that we can uh, have the 
you know, all the functions we need. And even the neurotransmitters in our brain, we all need these. And B vitamins are super important. Now, there's a lot of digestive benefits from kombucha in S. velordii, which is in it, um, which is in kombucha. Um, and when it supports your immune system very powerfully, it helps your body stay into a calm and relaxed state. It helps nourish the cells. It also does something that's really important. It supports the intestinal um, repair of the gut. So that helps the lining of the gut, which is your first line of defense against foreign invaders into the body. So it helps strengthen your gut lining and it just makes you feel great. And let me tell you something. If you're not feeling good in the afternoon, say around two or three o'clock, that's usually when you kind of get a lag in your immune system if you're struggling. If your body's not functioning at optimal levels and you get a little tired in the afternoon around two or three o'clock, that's a sign that your body's being taxed and it needs some help. And one of the great ways to do that is to have a little kombucha break in the afternoon, get yourself a glass of kombucha, and you watch 10, 20 minutes, you'll see a big difference in how you feel. And it's because it's loaded with B vitamins. And those B vitamins, they, again, nourish your adrenals, which controls your mood, starts to make you feel better, strengthens your immune system, strengthens your gut lining, and helps you so much. So now, all these B vitamins we talk about are not only in kombucha, but they're also good. Um, they're also found in kefir and yogurts and all of the fermented foods have a lot of B vitamins, including cultured vegetables. And, you know, your adrenal glands manufacture a number of hormones such as cortisol, adrenaline, um, estrogen, testosterone, and those, they regulate the body fluid balances, your blood pressure, your blood sugar, and other central metabolic functions that help your body cope with stress. So each of these B vitamins is essential when you're under any kind of stress, all the ones that I listed earlier. And that's if you're, even if it's physical or emotional, you need these. The chances are, if you're under a lot of stress, you've used up your B vitamins. So you need more. Um, and they will help with your mood greatly. They'll help you handle the stress better. And they, um, strong emotions cause those adrenals to just release all the extra reserves of adrenaline and cortisol. And because of that, the production of hormones requires a lot of nutrients when you're under stress. And especially B vitamins, but also things like magnesium. Um, magnesium is so important to keep the central nervous system in a calm, relaxed state. It helps all your mus muscles function properly, relax and contract. Um, you know, all of those things are needed by so many different nutrients in our body. And a nervous breakdown is, is actually adrenal fatigue or when the adrenals can't deal with the amount of stress they're experiencing. And it's just, that's what the sympathetic nervous system does. Um, and perhaps the reason that you, if you're experiencing these things, it's because there's something going on in, as, in your gut as well as the stress is outside of you. Learning to calm yourself down. And I have learned to do this, guys. Um, learning to, you know, turn off that fight or flight syndrome when I get stressed out has just become a skill that I literally had to learn. Um, I learned to turn it down because a lot of us have programmed ourselves to react to things, to react to the outside world, to react to the things we can't control. And our body goes into those stress responses because we've trained it to. And it took me a long time to learn to train my body to not react to that. Um, I became the master of my body and I had to really learn this and I still have to do this from time to time. Yes, I still sometimes react, but I have learned, I calm myself down. I've trained myself to, to basically, I kind of quiet my mind. I center myself in my heart. I kind of take deep breaths. I do a lot of deep breathing and I calm it, my body down like an animal so that it will just stay until I tell it to move. I've done it through meditation. I do it through breathing exercises. It is a skill that I is highly, highly valuable to learn. And it took me a while to learn it because my, you know, your mind wants is like a runaway train when you're upset. But learning to calm down those strong emotions, because nine times out of 10, things will be okay. If not 10 out of 10, things are always working out. But sometimes our reaction to what's happening is 10 times worse than what's actually happening. And learning to control that, you will find that everything will start to work out for you better. 
across the board on every situation um, if you train yourself to do that. And guys, it's like a skill. It's like learning tennis. I'm, t- I'm not kidding. And in this day and age, there is a many, many people reacting to everything. And if you can't calm yourself down, then you're living in fear. You're living in stress. And those kind of inflammatory markers in the body really take a toll on your health. They take a, t- a toll on your gut microbes too, because those inflammatory markers that stress creates causes all kinds of things going on in the body to go haywire. And so um, I think the secret is training your mind, training your body, getting your gut microbes to a really good um, balance so that they know exactly how to help you control this. Um, and I want to tell you this, there was kind of this article I saw where it, it was in the article called The Verge. I think it was a publish, a publication. It was an article. And it, UCLA researchers showed in one, it was in 2013, that healthy women who consumed twice daily for four weeks a drink with four added probiotic strains showed significantly altered brain functions on an MRI scan. These women's brains were scanned while they looked at photos of angry or sad faces and then asked to match those with other faces who showed similar emotions. Those who consumed the probiotic drink showed significantly lower brain activity in the neural network that helped drive responses to sensory and emotional behaviors. Kind of what I was talking about before where you you get a stress response. The research is really groundbreaking because they found that it's the first trial to show that probiotics could really affect the brain function. Um, And most of the time, they didn't think that would happen, but it does. Because your gut and brain are connected in a very powerful way. And um, there there are so much more research showing that that is very true um, in this day and age. That you can't, we always separated them as, you know, different organs, but they aren't. They are connected through the vagus nerve. And there's a lot of activity going on. And um, that's why they call the gut the second brain. Now, the very first thing I ever did was make kefir. That was the first culture food I ever had. And kefir is, of all the cultured foods, has the most probiotics. It has 50 plus strains in it. Um, it, But it has a ton, and I mean a ton, of B vitamins. And these are all increased by fermentation. Because it's fermented, um, the micros increase all the B vitamins. And they also add vitamin C to the kefir, which is incredible because most milk does not have vitamin C in it. And B vitamins act as coenzymes, which means they help form enzymes to become catalysts and biochemical transformations throughout your entire body. And when you've had enough, you can feel it. Your mood will shift. And seriously, it will, guys, because it happens to me. I see it. And it happened to me when I first started eating these foods in a very powerful way. And I've never lost those feelings from that day. They just get stronger over time. Um, But all the cultured foods, again, have B vitamins in them. But, you know, again, having good gut flora is the way that you're going to absorb them. So if you have, let's say, for instance, you have a cup of kefir. Um, it has half of the B12 you need in a day if you have one cup. And if you have two cups, you get all the B12 you need in a day. So if you're really stressed out, you need two cups. And it keeps you calm. It will help you feel good. It will help your body. It will serve those nerves and blood cells in a healthy way because they need extra B's especially when you're under stress. Um, it also will help prevent anemia. Um, it helps the DNA repair. It's it's a powerful, powerful tool. And it's an also for you to stay healthy and well and to keep your mind healthy as well as your body. Now, tryptophan is, a very, pre- is very present. It's an amino acid that's present in kefir in large amounts. Um, it's an essential amino acid, and it has a very relaxing effect on the nervous system. And people talk a lot of the, about this at, at uh, Thanksgiving because turkey has tryptophan in it, too. And um, that they say that's why it makes them sleepy and relaxed. And that may be very true, because it does have a lot of tryptophan in it, turkey does. But I really think it's because of all the pies and mashed potatoes they're eating, too, that causes their blood sugar to crash because they've overeaten so much. I think that's a key too to making you sleepy um, at Thanksgiving. But nevertheless, tryptophan is a very powerful um, essential amino acid that we all need that is abundant in kefir. So it is has a very calming effect on the body. Now there was a really interesting fermented food study um, done on social anxiety at William and Mary College 
which is, uh, and their psychology professors did this study. And I believe it was, uh, it also recently joined with University of Maryland School of Social Work Assistance Professor Jordan D. Viler, and they did the study together. And it was conducted in 2015, and it showed that a diet rich in fermented foods and drinks containing probiotics helped to cure social anxiety in young adults. And, you know, social anxiety is, is rampant these days. Um, and in schools, you know, you get fear of being judged by others or embarrassed in front of them. And the researchers looked into whether eating fermented foods would help people get um, more of a traditional treatment than medication or cognitive behavioral therapy if it would help them. So it was published in the Psychiatry Research um, article or magazine and included 710 students. And they were all taking a psychology course on their food eating habits. And they rated how worried or neurotic they tended to be. It also indicated whether or not they had social anxiety. And the questionnaire would ask them a variety of foods, um, talk about what they ate, including yogurt, um, kefir, soy milk, kefir, miso soup, sauerkraut, dark chocolate, juices, the cane, microalgaes, pickles, and kimchi. They asked them if they had any of these foods. And while not all of these foods had live cultures, um, most of them did. And what they found, they also found that they had prebiotics in them, which feeds your microbiome as well. And they concluded eating healthy and exercise with a long analyzing the answers of what they ate um, was really, really interesting. So among those reporting a neurotic disposition and those who were more prone to social anxiety, exercise, eating more fruits and vegetables, and more of these probiotic foods each markedly reduced anxiety symptoms in these students. And they also know that it reduced inflammation in the gut. They saw that across the board. And because anxiety is often accompanied by gastrointestinal symptoms, which does happen a lot, reducing gut inflammation helps alleviate these symptoms. Probiotics have been shown to modify the body's response to stress, and the stress response is highly linked to mental health disorders such as social anxiety. And I have seen that in my self, in my own family, in, the, in my extended family. I see it again and again and again, that it's all linked together. It's not just separate from one another that, you know, anxiety and struggles, um, you know, aren't linked to what's going on in the gut because they are. And, you know, researchers reacted to this study and said, you know, research on gut bacteria is expanding a lot. And this particular study is interesting in how it ties together several relevant elements of personality, food intake, and exercise. And the information not collected from clinical samples of people with diagnosing di anxiety disorders, um, they still felt that the study was very relevant since it had such a broad range of students. There were so many that it had hundreds of students. And so participants who were first-year psychology students um, that were in some of this study started to eat more cultured foods on a regular basis because it made them feel so much better. And it uh, actually had a profound effect on many of the students because they saw such a big improvement in their life. Now, another key vitamin that is very, very important for anybody who's struggling with stress of any kind is vitamin C. It greatly and massively supports your immune system, your adrenals, and a myriad of other processes in the body as well. And it's essential. It's really important for adrenal function. So if you take one of the ways to get a lot of vitamin C is, of course, through diet, through fruits and vegetables that are, you know, strawberries, oranges, lemons, all of them have lots of vitamin C. And one surprising food that has a lot of vitamin C is fermented cabbage. Now, regular cabbage only has about 69 milligrams of vitamin C. You take that same cup of cabbage and you ferment it and you get 760 milligrams of vitamin C. And it will... It's powerful, and it happens immediately when you eat it that you feel um, vitamin C in cultured vegetables or even the juice of cultured vegetables. You can really feel a difference. Like if you are having seasonal allergies, I would highly recommend you start making some of my krauts that I have that you put. You can put oranges in them, and it gives it a little bit of sweet flavor, but it greatly increases the vitamin C and will help your adrenals. Anytime you're getting a seasonal allergy or allergic to pollen, it's one of the things I use all the time that keeps my um, immune system and adrenals working really, really well. And all of these foods, like kefir has vitamin C in it, and that's because of the process of fermentation. And um, cultured vegetables do. And here's the interesting thing. Now, 
Vitamin C is water soluble, so it's not stored in the body. Um, so it comes out through the urine. So every four to six hours. So you need a continuous supply of it. And a lot of foods have it. Um, but when you're really struggling, you need to have extra vitamin C. And I think it's better to get it in foods. Sometimes the vitamin C tablets can work in a pinch, but they can also be hard on your kidneys. So I think that it's really important to use a whole food supplement. I mean, a whole food source. And whether that be a bowl of strawberries, some oranges, some kefir, some cultured vegetables, whatever it is, um, it will make a big difference in helping you to get the vitamin C your body needs, especially when it's under stress because it uses it up really fast. Now, recently I introduced a new yogurt called El Ruderai Superfood Yogurt. And it is, okay, so let's talk about this. So this yogurt has literally turned my world upside down and inside out, okay? Because it's it's technically not a yogurt because no manufacturers make it because it's it's only got El Ruderai in it. And so it's, it's very unique. You know, traditional yogurts have all these other types of bacteria in them, and this one does not. And um, it's been a little bit of a challenge because sometimes it is, acts perfectly. On your very first batch when you make it, sometimes it can separate into curds away, but you have to use like ultra-pasteurized milk and a prebiotic and sometimes it won't do that. So it's just driving me crazy because sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. However, the second batch is always the best if you use that one as a starter, even if it separates. Use that one as a starter and it makes fantastic yogurt. But guys, I have to tell you, this yogurt has literally changed my entire family. And I thought they were all crazy because I didn't believe them when they said that it created oxytocin in the human brain. I just didn't believe them. I thought they were full of it. I just thought, okay, whatever. That's a big claim. But something happened to all of us when we started consuming it. And we I'm having it every day now. And I've had it for every day for mm, two months. And I, because not only because it is crazy good, it tastes really good, and it's creamy and it's thicker than the, the thickest yogurt I've ever had. But it is changed. I tell you what, my atmosphere, my whole atmosphere in my house has changed. Everybody's happier. My daughter was kind of struggling. She was kind of going through, she's young, she's like 21, kind of going through stressful period. All her anxiety went away. It made her happy. I noticed everybody started to do things they'd never done before. People, like my daughter couldn't stop hugging me. My son was singing on his way home from work. Um, my husband was less reactive to, because he has kind of a stressful job. And I just noticed it just calmed everybody down and made everybody happy. And I was like, what is happening? And I felt a sense of well-being um, that I had not felt in a long time. And this was a stressful time for me because I was trying to figure out why this yogurt was acting the way it was sometimes and not other times. It drove me nuts. I couldn't sleep at night sometimes. I was so worried about it. But the more yogurt I had, the more I calmed down. And the more I figured out, and I made an FAQ page, and I explained everything that's happening, because guys, it's really important for me to see you guys have benefits. I can't even express to you how hard I've tried to figure everything out, and how exciting it is to me for you to get the benefits, because not only does it make me feel better, um, there's been significant changes in my hair, my skin, um, my energy levels. I'm even growing muscle faster, which it said it did, which I also didn't believe. But then there's this weird thing that I just want to exercise more. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I honestly think it's just because I feel so much better. And it's the only thing I've done different. And if you're struggling with this, if you've made some, most people do really well with it. But if your first batch gets messed up, you can email me. I will tell you what's happening and fix it. I know how to do it. It's just that this El Ritter is so strong. That sometimes it activates so fast it eats up all the food and then bubbles out of the jar. But it's only on the first batch. And then when you use that batch as a starter, it does better the next time. But it is, guys, it is so worth making this yogurt. It's, I never thought I would say this, but it drives me crazy because it takes 36 hours and I'm kind of impatient to make and you got to do it at a low temperature. But most of the people are missing this bacteria that abides in their gastrointestinal area, where most of your bacteria is in your colon. 
And a fourth of the population has things like SIBO because they have the wrong bacteria in their gastrointestinal area. This helps fix this because this has got like antibiotic qualities that kills that bacteria and restores it. And I'm seeing some pretty crazy um, results with it. And so I really, um, I encourage you to try it. If you get discouraged, I am here to help you. I, we are all helping you. It's, um, and we're learning so much more about it because it's, we're the only ones that are really doing this, but the benefits will blow your mind. They're, it's profound. So I don't want to talk about it too much because, um, we're still learning about it and I'm doing everything I can to help everybody. So, however, if you're struggling with any kind of circular thinking, anxiety, stress, guys, this, this yogurt could change it. I'm telling you, it's, it is powerful stuff. And I thought they were crazy, but oxytocin is no joke. And so we, we have it all the time. And here's the thing. Everybody in my family is eating it because, and I'm not having to make them. They're doing it because they see the benefits. So that's how I know it works because they do it before they go to work, cracks me up. And, uh, they actually panic when the jar gets low. Cause I make like three or four jars at a time. And, um, it has been a profound change in our life. So I encourage you to try that out. I'll put the links to this below. Um, and here's the cool thing. Kiefer has l in it. It doesn't have very much, but it has it. So if you're doing Kiefer, you're getting some of that. Um, the strain that we have is very, very strong and we tested it in a lab to see how much you're getting. You're getting a lot in this yogurt. So um, a good place to start is kefir because you're going to get some of it in kefir and you're just not going to get very much. But it is a, kefir also has 50 other probiotics that are going to greatly help you. And if you could just change your gut bacteria by adding probiotic foods, your whole life will change. You will nourish your adrenal glands, your moods will lift, your body will heal from all kinds of different things. Um, I had high blood pressure and diabetes. It all went away once I fixed my gut. I lost weight. I felt better. My skin looked better. My everything got better. My moods got better. I felt joy. I felt well-being that I had never known before. And um, I love these foods. They have that's why I talk about them so much. And I am, guys. I, I wish you could see behind the scenes of all the stuff that I'm trying to do because in this day and age, we need to feel good. People are struggling. People are not feeling good. They're stressed. They, we've been through a, a lot these last couple of years. So all of these foods can make a difference. Kefir, kombucha, cultured vegetables, and el yogurt. I also have a, another yogurt called Yogurt Plus that has Bifido, which is the young bacteria that you need so readily. That That is not in kefir, so that's why I made that yogurt. And it is powerful. It is so good. It keeps you young, and it will help you so much. So... I want you to check out all these things if you want. Just pick one. Don't do them all. Just pick one. The easiest one to do is kefir, or you could buy a bottle of kombucha at the store. It's fabulous. And give that a try. Just try one of them and just slowly start fixing your microbiome and see if that doesn't fix your mood. And then when it does, send me a, an email. I love those stories. We love the testimonies from people that we get. We have a Lives Touch page where everybody has testimonies. I'm trying with all my heart to help you guys feel better because I know what it's like to feel bad. I know how horrible that is. Because I was there, and I know what it is to feel good, and people don't think wellness is the norm anymore, and that just breaks my heart, because it doesn't have to be that way. I have a lot more years to live, a lot more things to share with you, and I am learning constantly. One of my favorite quotes is by Galileo, who said, I am, or is it Michelangelo? It was Michelangelo, that's who it was. And he said, I am still learning, and he quoted that at age 87. And I believe I am never ceasing to learn more and more about the trillions of microbes that call me home, but also that have enabled me to live an incredible life. And I want that for you. I want you to feel good. I want you to do good. But I want you to feel good emotionally too, because when you have that, you have everything. So thanks guys for listening. Um, drop me an email. If you have questions about anything, I'm always here to help. And it's, I'll put the link in the description below. Go to my website at culturedfoodlife.com .com, and hit the contact form. And uh, if you just put in the words cultured food life, I come up. It's easy to find. So, and I have 
everything you need to do for free. Everything on how to make kefir kombucha, cultured vegetables, yogurts, everything. Everything you need is in the start button that has a little smiley pot that says start here. It's all free. It's all there for you to get going. And you can even buy these foods at some health food store. They're better if you make them at home, but I just want you to get better. So do what you can do. If you're too tired to make them, try getting them from the store and seeing if they make a difference in your life. Thanks for listening, guys, and we will see you next week.